So during the elections, when they harass me, they don't know my defender is the King of Kings. Job! Because he deserves all the glory. Come on! Do something wild for him. We don't know how great he is. Hey! Listen, if you think where you are is by your power, it's a reflection of your direct stupidity. Please, just yada, wave your hands to him. Wave your hands to him. I know no other body, I know no other person. It's the Lord of Lords I know. And that's why I give him all the glory. So during the elections, when they harass me, they don't know my defender is the King of Kings. You say I talk anyhow on TV, I can talk anyhow because I am that I am. It's at my back. He says I should say it. And I don't fear anybody, I only fear who sent me. Because my life is not even in my hands. So it's in the hands of the one that gives life. So if you think I'm going to fear you, get out! Um, one of those videos you love to see, and uh, forget about the religious attachment that you want to complain about. That is somebody that um, has stood out in the in his profession in Nigeria. Uh, Rufao Senior of Arise TV is a big name as it regards um, broadcasting in Nigeria. And then if he says um, beyond, of course, we are not doubting the fact that he's intellectually sound, he's vocal, he's bold and courageous, and he's also done a whole lot of homework. If he says that one of his greatest strength is in the fact that he has a God or he believes in a God, let's take that from you. I, 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 again, I'm sorry I'm getting back to that. I have mentioned a couple of um, days ago in my video of expose on um, um, portable that it is actually a risk not to know God or know devil uh, in this particular generation. If you don't know God, you do go and know your devil. I don't, I don't know what you interpret that to be. But that's a fact. Nobody is actually left on the fence. Nobody is a, is vacant. There's, there are no vacuums. Nature abhors vacuum, actually. So um, that's what they're telling you. And they exactly put it in a way that everybody has got something that they, that they hold back on or hold back to or they strongly believe or that they uh, believe or that keeps them strong, um, standing. Because you see, the dimensions upon which our political uh, atmosphere has as 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 taken in the last couple of years has become something very terrible quite risky to even um trend on these uh, particular waters talk about it converse there have been very mysterious uh, disappearances both physical and spiritual mysterious deaths very quite it's a quite tough and toughy and rocky um things to to stem into i can tell you a lot of people would have been alive if they had stayed away from the political hemisphere, both as acting participants or as maybe um, um, making it a talking point. So it's a lot more. Do not think that these guys are working uh, without having so much dimension. I think I mentioned it here on this platform that I met with somebody who wanted to be governor of a particular state and told me that um, the dimensions upon which one of the candidates did campaign in the last election was a spiritual dimension actually handed over to him by his um, by his baba in his term and then unfortunately like i did mention i was asking myself when i left there and then we have all this spiritual authority that claims to own the um the hemisphere or hydrosphere or atmosphere in nigeria yet somebody was able to use his baba to cage the country to get him what he wants and then the rest of us are out there shouting that's why the pollution in the church actually pains some of us because it means there is something wrong somewhere and then there's been a lot of abuse that's why a lot of these things are happening but thank you again Rufai. i know i, I personally like Rufai, someone that um that i'm endeared to based on his um his consistent growth process you could see him reading developing growing courageous bold in the face of um, attack and then staying by the truth i'm sure that uh, in no distant time by the grace of god people like Rufai would be one of the icons of the broadcast industry and not people that can of course he's not being partisan but he's just ensuring that he puts out his words um for the common man and then sometimes puts his job at risk 
because he wants to do it as long as it is for the benefit of the people so that's him there talking i don't know maybe i'd like to hear in the comment section who is your own defense what do you brag about who's at your back at what you do catch another time bye for now